Let's have a discussion about God's love. It is much greater than human love. And there's nothing that you need to do to have more of God's love, and there's nothing that you have done to take away from that love. Where can we find God's love? Everywhere. My friend, you are never <laughs> away from God's love. You cannot separate yourself from God's love. God's love transcends time and it transcends space. It reaches beyond the heavens, and it touches the darkest, smallest corner of every human heart. When we sincerely open our minds and our hearts to God's love, we can experience God's transcendent love at that moment and each moment for the rest of our lives. Now, God loves us in spite of our imperfections, in spite of our mistakes, our frailties, and our shortcomings. I had a person say to me one time that I don't believe that, and I simply made the comment, well, are your children perfect? And they said, well, no, my children aren't perfect. I said, but do you love your children? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, we do as a human being with our limited love, and how much more God loves each one of us. God loves us even when we don't love ourselves. God's love, it never fails, and it never ends. So today, I ask you to infill yourself with the knowledge that you're not alone, that you have. God's love with you. And take God at God's word and accept God with open arms. God's transcendent love will surround you. God will comfort you. And God will transform you. The great love of God is like an ocean without a bottom or a shore. Now, in Psalms 100, verse 5, we read, The Lord is good. God's unfailing love continues forever. And God's faithfulness continues to each generation. When you really know how much God loves you, it changes everything. It gives you a foundation to stand on. And your dreams a foundation to build on. So today, my friend, I ask you to go into prayer and meditation so that you can grasp a bigger picture of just how much God cares for you.